So today's video is going to be short and sweet. And basically what it's going to be about is just prejudice. Um, you know, whether it's a person of Latino descent, of African American descent, or even a white boy. We need to get rid of it. We need to allow ourselves to grow as human beings, as people, not as different skin. You know, just because we have different pigmentation in our blood, which sorry for the sunburn, you know, uh, skin there, but just because we have different pigmentation in our skin does not make us any different from others. And as far as everything going on around the world right now, it's tragic. It's painful to see and it's not right. You know, I got asked this last night and I decided to make a video about it today. Have I ever been a victim of it? Have I ever been a victim of racial prejudice? And I have. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, luckily, where I grew up in, it wasn't bad. I mean, you know, I, I did have the occasional stare, the occasional look down from somebody because of the color of my skin. But where it really happened was about 45 minutes from where I live. There's a Smith's and Walmart's, Costco's, all that kind of shit. But this Smith's in particular was well known to be a, you know, well-off community Smith. You know, people weren't really in there that were of color. And, you know, this is something I learned after I visited the place. You know, after the incident, I learned that this place was not really known for having many Latinos or, you know, different kind of, you know, people there. I walked into the store. And I had a gentleman approach me while I'm talking to my phone on the phone with my dad. I'm talking to him in Spanish. Um, and I'll, basically what I'm telling my dad is, hey, how are you doing? Like, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. My dad at this point was living somewhere else, you know, and so I was just trying to catch up with him. I was happened to be in the store, just visiting a uh, girlfriend at the time in the store or in the store <laughs> in, in town. And I was just happened to grab, you know, grabbing some food for us at the store and, so we could have something to eat for dinner that night. And, um... I remember the two first words he said were, hey, son. And that caught my attention because I was thinking, what is he going to, you know, I was just curious what he's going to talk to his boy about. But, um, you know, I'm talking to my dad and I hear over, over my shoulder, basically. Hey, son, look over there. A racial slur, you know, talking anything but English. I don't want you to know that this guy... Probably doesn't even know what I'm saying right now. But I just want to let you know that, you know, and he starts bickering about something stupid. Something racist. You know, just basically saying how he hired a couple of them for his house. And that none of them spoke English. And he had to go get somebody that spoke English and Spanish to translate and make sure everybody knew what they were doing. And then how he's always watching them and stuff. And so he tells me, um, you know, hey, racial slur. You know, I'm not, I don't want to repeat them. It's... I would, but I don't want to because I'm trying to get rid of it, right? And so he tells me, hey, you know, so it's a racial slur. How about you learn English? At this point, my dad hears it over the phone. But I decided I'm not going to, you know, my dad says, don't say anything. Leave him alone. You don't want to fuel his, um, you don't want to fuel what he's looking for, right? He, he's trying to feed you. Whether he knows if you know, if you know English or not, he's trying to get you. So, you know, I keep it, I let it basically, you know, take the notion, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. You know, I'm trying to take that into consideration. I'm not trying to let it bug me. I'm not trying to let it get under my skin. Well, you know, I start, keep talking to my dad and the guy follows me for quite a bit. Finally, I tell my dad, you know what? I've got to go. Like, I'm going to, you know, she's calling me right now, which was a complete, well, what the hell? Oh, whoops. I accidentally fucked that up. We're just going to do this real quick. Just kidding. Uh, that's just some beard hair. Um, like bed hair, but for the beard. From when I uh, fell, took a nice little quick nap. Anyways, let's go back to the story. So I hang up the phone on my dad. And I decided I want to talk to this guy, right? So I look back at him. He looks at me. And I told him in English. I told him, hey, it's one thing to think. That I don't speak English. It's another one to berate me for not thinking I don't speak English. It's another one to call me something that I am clearly not for not speaking English. 
But it's a whole nother level of bigotry to teach that to your boy. And I could tell his son kind of was just letting me talk to his dad. Wasn't paying attention. The guy starts backpedaling immediately. Oh, I didn't mean that. Like, I, I, you know what? Like, I, I'm sorry. These guys were this. and doesn't matter. The fact that you might have had a bad experience with one guy led you to believe the rest of us are the same way. And I can't have that. You have to treat every person with some sort of preconceived respect. Because you don't know if that person's actually good or bad, right? You have to find out. But how are you going to find out if you automatically, you know, already insult somebody and already guess just off the notion of their skin? You know, and I told this guy, I was like, I hate that you're an asshole. I'm not going to lie to you. But I wish you wouldn't have taught that to your son. And I hope he wasn't listening. Because the fact that you're trying to teach him how to be just as big of a bigot as you are shows me you don't care about your son's future in knowing different things, right? Your son could go learn Spanish and be friends with plenty of people and hire many people in life. You could learn different languages and learn many things in life. But you're trying to teach him that a person that speaks another language and might not speak your language is a good for nothing. I wasn't having it. So I looked at the kid and I told him, hey, bud, don't listen to your dad. I, not on this. Said anything else in life, maybe listen to your dad, but not on this. Learn from this situation here that not everyone in life is what someone might say. You have to learn for yourself whether a person is going to be bad or good for you. And that's it. A person, not a race, not a situation, not a religion, not a whole nation could be bad for you it could be a person in it i hope one day we don't have to have that conversation where it's no longer a person it's nobody that we all happen to get along that we all happen to be together in life you know we can all get along we're all human beings it doesn't matter what goddamn pigmentation is in your skin? We all bleed red. We are all human. I never understood it. I never understood why people have to judge because of the color of your skin. I was lucky enough to never have to fight it too often in life. Not even as a kid. As a kid in my school, they accepted us. Because they knew we, we were minorities in our school. There was only maybe 10 of us total Latinos in the school. You know, for our time growing up until we got older and then there started more and more. But at that time, we never got judged for it. At least I never did. I don't know if any of my buddies did. I, You know, I could probably ask them. They'd probably tell me. But I personally never had to deal in my hometown with that kind of stupid shit. And I thank God for that. I thank God that we didn't grow up in a situation where I had to guess whether or not Someone hated me because of my color. It was only until I got older and I had to start going outside this small town that I noticed that some people are just ignorant. But, hey, that's all I got for today. I don't got too much. It's just nice, short, and sweet. Have a good day, you guys. And stay safe out there with the rioting, with anything else going on, um, you know, with the peaceful protests, whatever might be going on in your city. Be safe out there and remember to love one another because we all bleed red. We all breathe the same air and we're all human beings, no matter what color. We all got to learn to love each other.